In front of you here, Ken. So this is Ken Price from Samsung. You have the entire Q4 lineup of Samsung smartphones and phablets and smaller smartphones. Can you walk us through this? Because there are a ton of new products here. Sure, well Samsung has always been about assortment and what we try to do is line up, you know, based on what customers want from a usability point of view and also with a view to say the pricing plan and options that customers are going to have and as things are changing in the industry to your contracts, tab plans, that sort of thing, we're kind of d developing phones that kind of fit into those those sort of slots, I guess is the way to put it. So for example, we have the Galaxy S3 Mini. And this borrows a lot of the industrial design look and feel of the Galaxy S3, but in a smaller form factor, which from a usability point of view and from a price point of view lets us get to you know, a, a really solid entry level LTE device, which is really what we were thinking of here. And you can see that a lot of the same functionality that was built into the Galaxy S3 will be built in into this one in terms of its usability and navigation, which was a very popular phone. So people are pretty familiar with the S3 at this point. I think it's safe to say. What are the differences? Sure. So I think what you're really giving up on, this is a 4-inch screen versus the 4.8 it was on the Galaxy S3. And from a resolution point of view, you're basically down to a 720p kind of idea rather than saying full HD resolution. So those are really the major trade-offs. Okay, what if I didn't want to uh, you know, make trade-offs in terms of speed or uh, you know, I wanted the latest form factor and I wanted the latest ID, I wanted the latest hardware, but I have small hands. There's my hand. Sure. Well, again, you know, we're about device democracy, so we have one for you. So that would be the Galaxy S4 Mini where again, the, the trade-off is really on size in, versus the Galaxy S4. So you have essentially the same functionality built in, but in, a, in sort of the Galaxy S4. And what we think this will go is for a little, a little slightly higher end um, you know, user who's probably paying a full data plan and is interested in, in, in sort of a full LTE-based phone, but wanted something that was a little smaller and easier to handle for one-handed operation. So in terms of snappiness, responsiveness, and performance, am I really giving up anything here? No, no, you're not really giving up anything for the Galaxy S4 Mini in that regard. Speaking of not giving up anything, uh, let's move on to <laughs> the Galaxy Mega. What if sure. I didn't want to give up anything on screen real estate? Right. Well, you know, this pro product is probably best understood as a voice-enabled tablet. And, you know, really, if, if you really can only have one device and you wanted to have sort of the larger real estate for multi-window functionality that you had um, on, let's say, the Note, and you, and you uh, uh, but still wanted to be able to make the occasional phone call, then this is the perfect phone for you. So let's go ahead and just, just, for, just for fun here in our B-roll, let's hold up, this is an S4 Mini yeah. <laughs> against the, uh, the, the right. Mega. Hold on, keep that, keep that there, hold sure. that thought. This is an S4 against right. the Mega. And guys, this is a Note 3 next to the Mega. That's so right. it, it truly is Mega in every possible way here. That's now, right. speaking of the Note 3, um, the Mega doesn't really have the fastest hardware in the world, but uh, the Note 3, does. Can you tell us more about this one? That's right. So the Note 3 has the latest and, you know, kind of the latest hardware we have. It has three, first of all, it has three gigabytes of RAM on board. It has a quad core 2.3 gigahertz processor. It has 13 megapixel camera on the front, let's say versus eight, and uh, two megapixel on the, on the, uh, on the front. Um, it's, it's just its capabilities are a little bit stronger because it has a better hardware background. Okay, now tell us about the enhancements that have been made to the Note 3 with respect to the S Pen or the stylus. Sure. Um, and, you know, what we wanted to do was we noticed that, you know, in terms of making the pen even easier to use, so really the three things are, first of all, being able to quickly access utilities that we think people will want to use when they're using the pen, be able to jot a memo quickly, be able to open a second window or search or capture the screen. That's one of the ideas. The second idea is for those who under, you know, who have been using the note will know that, you know, occasionally they had to put the note down and use their fingers to do things like access the back button. That's now been corrected. And the third aspect is being able to, when you're in any of the note applications, be able to access memos quicker or menus quicker. So things that used to take two or three commands now take one or two commands. So those are really the three primary um, uh, improvements on the S Pen. 
So you talked a little bit about who you expect to buy the Galaxy Mega, but maybe break it down for us in terms of the rest of the lineup. Who do you expect to these to be the right devices for? We'll start with the Note 3. Sure. The, well, I think the Note 3 is going to be a high-end user that's using a lot, who really values the real estate and is really giving their smartphone a workout. So it could because it can support multi-window, multi-function applications. Massive battery. Absolutely. And also from a creative point of view, being able to use the pen, which is a different user experience. I think they'll really, um, really like that part of it. And now I think the S4, which we have in the middle here, is still going to be kind of mainstream, um, you know, for those who, who still want cutting edge hardware and are, uh, you know, sort of cutting edge hardware in a more, say, um, conventional package, maybe I'll put it that way, but still value Samsung's, you know, Super AMOLED screen technology and higher end performance. These other devices, the Mega that I talked about earlier, this is really for the value shopper that can only, you know, that only wants one device. So this is the, you know, it, rather than having phones and tablets and a whole collection of devices, this is the one device that you could say could be essential. So it will cross over between tablet and phone. And these other ones, I think, will appeal to the navigation. You talked about the size, for example, being a challenge and you know being able to um, use things one-handedly or you know if you just would rather have a smaller package then this is going to be for you awesome i think that's absolutely fantastic ken thank you very much for walking us through it thank you